Hello and welcome to part seven of this series of presentations on pitch and pitch systems in tonal music. This is John Crooks and today we will take a closer look at the just triad, the four, five, six ratio, and try and build a system that has both major and minor triads in a just ratio relationship. A couple of presentations ago, we built a set of diatonic pitches, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, uh, that were based around a series of three to two perfect fifths. This scale, although it was a very useful diatonic set and indeed sounded just like a major scale you'd play on a piano, upon closer examination, did not have pure triads. Now, in an earlier presentation, we talked about exactly what a pure triad was and the importance of triads to our his, uh, system of hearing tonal music. Uh, so today we're going to look at these just triads and try and build ourselves a diatonic set, a seven pitch set, where all the triads are perfectly in tune. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, so today we're going to use a different kind of circular system to discuss our pitches. Up until now, we have had circles of fifths. In an earlier presentation, we looked at the circle of 12 fifths we have become accustomed to using in music theory. And for our last couple of presentations, we had a diatonic circle of fifths where, although B to F was a tritone, not actually a perfect fifth, we did have a kind of a circular system. Today, we have a circle of thirds. Now, in an earlier presentation, we discussed the major third. Uh, here we have a mixture of intervals. Some are major thirds and some are minor thirds. Before we get into what the minor third is, let's just look at this new circle. C, E, G, B, D, F, A. We're moving around in thirds. So this is a different way of visualizing a pitch system, one that we have not done so far. So here is our circle of thirds, and let's look at where the triads are. Here is our C to E to G, one triad our G to B to D five triad, and an F A C four triad. And so we see them all here getting along very nicely. Um, and in our previous presentation, we found out that these ratios, as a matter of fact, do generate a tonic, subdominant, and dominant, or one, four, and five triad, that are all indeed just in tune. They are four to five to six ratios. So for example, we can see this one triad right here. Da da da. A uh, four triad. Da da da. And a five triad. Do da da. All living together very nicely in this circle of triads. Now, we are all used to talking about music that is in both major and minor keys. So far, we've only looked at major triads. Now, one thing that is clear about our tonal system is that it has space not just for major sounds, but also for minor ones. And we can see that sound right here, and also here in our circle of thirds, A to C to E, is a minor triad. Ba -da -da. That is a minor triad sound. Now, we're going to take a break from this presentation and look a little bit more closely at the minor triad and one of its component intervals, the minor third. The minor third actually isn't a new interval for us. We can hear it inside the major triad. So if we hear Ba da da C E G. The sound between E and G, da da, is a minor third. Its ratio is six to five, and it can form a minor triad that has the ratio of 10 to 12 to 15. So let's take a moment and just look at that on an oscilloscope. Okay, so right now we're just going to learn about the minor third. If we take one pitch, like our A440.
And then we multiply that pitch by 1.2, which is 6 over 5. We get this right here. Da -da. That is our 6 to 5 minor third. Now, just as with the major third, we can stack that sound with a 3 to 2 fifth. Ba -da -da, and we have our minor triad. The best way to express a minor triad as a ratio is as 10 to 12 to 15. Clearly, this isn't quite as simple a ratio as we have looked at uh, up until now, but it still represents some pretty basic whole number ratios, and we can hear that the sound is pretty strong and stable, although not quite as pure or just as some of the other uh, intervals we have heard. But this is just a guide to what the minor third is. Again, it is a 6 to 5 ratio, and it sounds like this. And we can put that within a 10 to 12 to 15 minor triad. Now we'll take a moment to learn a little bit more about the minor sound. So this minor sound is almost as familiar as the major sound in tonal music. Uh, we certainly hear music that is in major keys and minor keys every day. And further, just as we found a 1-4-5 tonic dominant subdominant relationship in uh, major keys, we also hear it in minor chords as well. Um, to give you one example, and excuse my singing and piano playing, um, if we take the Beatles classic, Yesterday, here we hear a major sound, da da da, yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away, and now we're in minor, ba da da. This relationship is called the relative minor. There's our C major, da da da. One transitional chord, and the relative minor sound, which is based around A. So as we move on right now, we will look at how this relative minor works, and also how when any major diatonic collection, we have a set of one, four, five major triads. Also, we have a one, four, five set of minor triads. So now let's look at the triad and circular pitch systems as they apply to minor one, four, and five progressions. Looking again at our circle of pitch, uh, circle of fifths, we see now 12 fifths as opposed to the seven we were looking at when we were building a diatonic set. And the tonic dominant subdominant pattern follows all around the circle of 3 2 ratios. Uh, and we learned this in an earlier presentation that triads based on pitches directly beside a tonic triad reinforce the tonic sound. This is true for major and minor triads. Now, here's some new information. So, we have this kind of 1 4 5 relationship for major sounds and minor ones. And in any diatonic set, or collection, we have a major 1, 4, 5 triad and relative minor 1, 4, and 5 triads. So there's the minor 1, 4, 5 progression played again as our kind of ringtone sound, and here's its relative major. And this Major and relative minor, or minor and relative major, follows all around the circle of fifths. So there was a 1, 4, 5 progression, or I should say 4, 5, 1 progression in minor. And in the relative major. There it is going from G to A to D minor. And its relative major is B to C to F, and F is the tonic sound. Ba and da 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 da. There we heard four, five, one in B minor. And its relative major D.
G minor and it's relative major B flat. And there is F sharp minor, and it's relative major A. D sharp minor, and E flat major. Sorry, I was wrong. I should have said C minor and E flat major. There is our C-sharp minor, and E major. There we have F minor, and A-flat major. G-sharp minor, and B major. B flat minor, and D flat major. E flat minor, and G flat major. So, this tonal pitch system can be called a circulating system. No matter what pitch is first used as the tonic of a diatonic collection, any other pitch can be established as a tonic without having to change the tuning system. So we just heard that in our series of major and relative minor or minor and relative major progressions. We can get from any spot on this circle of fifths to any other spot using these kinds of modulations. And we hear this all the time in modulations to parallel or relative minor, change of key by way of secondary dominance, and all the other things available to us in uh, tonal music. And this really relies on a tuning system where we have a diatonic collection that has one, four, and five chords as major triads, and also a relative minor with one, four, and five minor triads. So we've come a long way here. Now we see that not only does our diatonic collection have to have one, four, and five major triads that have a stable and pure sound, but also one, four, and five relative minor triads with a pure and stable sound. This is really essential to the functioning of our 12-tone tonal system. Now, right now what we're working on is just trying to extract a single set of seven diatonic pitches as opposed to an entire set of 12 chromatic pitches. In our next presentation, what we'll do is try and tune a diatonic set with pure and in-tune major and minor triads.